All right, hey Capricorn. So I'm doing a ghosted read um, for you guys, and this one is going to show us the past life karma and what you um, are to resolve this life. Just remember that we have free will, so you know you might decide to say screw it, I'll deal with it in another life. Um, but you're gonna know this is your read by your energy, how you feel about them, and where you want to see this go. So if you don't resonate with that energy, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you guys will subscribe to the channel and like the video, please, if it resonates so other people have the opportunity to see the messages. All right. So in the past life, you guys recognized each other as soulmates in the past life. Um, the lover's card, um, it could have been too that somebody um, chose wrong, okay, um, with... I, it's just kind of how I'm feeling because the world card shows um, the ending of a cycle in the past life So I almost feel like somebody chose differently All right, or chose not to pursue the connection um, The connection ended and then here we are single nine of pentacles energy not recognizing the wish fulfillment that was there So one thing you guys need to keep in mind is that with um, past lives uh, we, we tend to alternate roles so it could have been you in the last life that decided not to pursue the connection where this person in this life, um, you know, they ghost you and here we are. All right. So here is what you guys are to resolve this life. Okay. Look at that. So the heartbreak. So this is where we're at. The, the disconnect, the ending, right? So you guys, um, what you're supposed to heal and resolve is the heartbreak. Um, so the pain uh, of, of the separation, the fact that this person ghosted, you know, last life, it comes to this life, they're, they're, they've ghosted it again. So you guys have some healing in that heart space to do. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. All right, so cleaning and clearing that energy. I almost feel like uh, Capricorn, you're dealing with a connection where um, here in this life, it's like this person, um, they have um, healed, they've, they have unhealed trauma. Um, and it's almost like they do stuff to people because it happened to them, okay? Um, but here's where we we come to this King of Wands energy. So this is somebody who is the opposite of a player, somebody who plays with people's emotion. This is somebody who's very stoic, knows what you want. We go after it. Um, this is all about compromise, um, you know, integrity, um, loving, loyalty, inspiration. And, you know, um, it, it, this right here is like a, um, knowing your value, knowing your worth. All right. The wands energy is all about, you know, um, um, going within and knowing your value without having other people, um, um, without getting validation from other people. All right, so I feel like uh, you know once you once you guys um, realize this um, that you don't need validation from this person, um, I feel like that's where the, the healing of this connection um, um, starts. It's almost kind of like this person. Uh, uh, you you might even think that you aren't good enough for this person. All right, and that's energy that needs to be cleared. Like you don't need anybody's validation. Um, so repairing the heart space um you know being vulnerable allowing people in and just being at the very very top of our game i feel like that's what you guys are here to show each other so your energy <clears throat> i was gonna say you do recognize this as a soulmate how you feel about them and where you want this to go all right we have yeah so this is definitely a, a, a soul connection, all right? Um, this this is not going to end here. You guys are going to, um, you're going to move forward. Yep, you're moving forward this life. Um, and I, I feel like that's going to be in a very, very positive way. All right, your energy, you recognize this as a soul connection. The Knight of Pentacles, so you see this person as, um, you know, uh, it, this could be you too, um, wanting to take it slow with this person because you see their wounds. I feel like you see this person as a wounded warrior. You yourself, um, I feel, have, um, you've endured uh, trials and tribulations and, um, you know, messed up connections that didn't never work out. All right. But this is where we start to, to learn to value ourselves. Okay. So let's take it slow. Let's do the opposite, especially with this person on, on my mind. Um, because this does feel different. 
all right how do you feel about them look at we have the world card the world card coming out here all right um this one actually dropped right here so you're not ready for the connection to be over with yet however you don't see where it's gonna go with this person it's almost kind of like you've given it to fate the universe to guide the connection from here on out all right where do you want this to go we have the king of wands up here the queen of wands comes out Im immediately so this is a soul connection that is supposed to happen in this life um you know um i feel like this is side confirmations you guys this is a soulmate energy queen of wands king of wands all the major arcana says that this is guided by um you know your spirit guides and your angels okay so you want to see balance brought to this situation you know that there is something there's a reason why this connection is here um you're not you're not doubting it you know that it's here for a reason I feel like you and the, the, the purpose of you and this person is to put the past behind you guys, clear the negative wounds from the past, um, you know, and, and be our, um, embody our, our, um, our biggest, you know, strength through each other. All right. Not for the other person, but through, um, your guys's energy. So this person's energy. So their energy, they have a lot of love, okay? They have a lot of love for you in this connection, but I almost feel like they go back and forth between their single, their freedomness, their freedom and their singleness, okay? Um, I feel like this person is recognizing that, uh, you know, they had a wish right before their eyes and, you know, what, what did I do? I almost feel like this person projects their wounds where they don't need to be projected. How do they feel about you? How does this person feel about cap? Yeah, there's, yeah, look at that. Wow. Two of cups again coming out. All right. Soulmate energy. Somebody who speaks their mind and their truth. All right. Somebody who, you know, I feel like they look at you as somebody who's not going to put up with their in and out, their, their shitty behavior. Um, they're projecting. Um, no, I, I'll take a pause. You know, I'm not going to put up with it though. But they do want a fresh start with you when it comes to the love. Okay. So how to, or let's see why this person ghosted. Why did they ghost? They have unhealed trauma. Seven of Pentacles to me is all about um, healing, all right? And because it's coming in reverse, um, this person doesn't know how to achieve um, that healing. This is also about manifestations, um, you know, coming to fruition, putting in a lot of work. And I feel like with this in reverse, this person just doesn't know how to put the work into themselves. All right, this person, they're, they're just at an impasse. Um, they don't know what they want, all right? Um, I feel, you know, this is very immature energy and it's almost like they do better to project, um, you know, everything from the past um, before moving forward. So I feel like this person ghosted because they have unhealed wounds and trauma, but they refuse to get it uh, together, right? They refuse to fix themselves or the situations of, of their past, you know? It's almost like, this person doesn't know. They don't know how, um, but it's nothing that you could help them with. So what else should you know? Look at that. Queen of Swords energy coming through. We have a king and queen, another divine couple. All right, just know that this connection is going to come back. Um, the judgment card to me is a reference of angels of the past. This is coming back. It's going to be brought together. All right. Um, this right here, don't, what I want to say is don't feel like you're just an option with this person. This person just has a lot of unhealed, they have a lot of unhealed things that are going on that they need help with. I feel like judgment card coming through too is saying that this person, um, they, they will start to heal um, because you got to know that their angels and their spirit guides are also working with them. Okay. We have the ace of swords. So just know that there is going to be something new that is brought to this connection. That's going to be a victory for you guys in this life. All right. So just to confirm that, um, is this person coming back? These are 30 day intention reads, you guys. Yeah, the, this is not over, okay? The world card coming out, third time. 
cycle's not over, okay? You are gonna be, re you, you, this person is going to be reaching out to you. And um, with the Emperor card, it could be that they have to balance the divine masculine energies um, that they've dealt with, that they've had in their life. But I also feel like they come through as a transformed person when you guys finally get to bring the connection together, okay? Yeah, you guys got all these aces, all this, de these depictions of new beginnings. All right, five of swords in reverse. Um, strongly, strongly would suggest the reconciliation and the reunion um, of you guys, all right? So they're, I'm just going to check their intentions to see if they have, um, you know, if they come back through in the next 30 days, if there's any strengthening in their um, way of thinking. So their intentions. So their intentions. All right. Here's what I want to say. Um, it's being balanced, okay? I feel like this person, they, I feel like they have a more um, immature energy about them. So just know that it, it is being balanced, um, but use your intuition and your own judgment when this person comes back around, because I feel like the angels um, and this person, spirit guides are still going to be working with them. Um, 30 days might be too soon for this person to embody the nature of what you want them to be or what they should be uh, to take on uh, this connection. All right. So let me just get your advice, your advice, look at that, wish fulfillment, you guys will see wish fulfillment, you, you just, yeah, look at that, eight of pentacles, just continue to focus on yourself, um, you know, while, while everything in the universe um, is, is doing their thing, right? All the energies are working together to bring the connection together. Just continue to work on yourself. Um, but also just know that what you want out of this connection, it's going to come to you, okay? Um, so I'm going to pull some initials. And this right here is the main. So if your initials don't come out, don't be offended. So we have N, J, X, A, and we have a couple of U's, all right? So um, you guys, if you're experiencing this, I do hope you'll comment. I hope that this makes sense. I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, I love interacting with you guys and, and replying to your comments. So best of luck. Um, you know, remain positive, have good hope and faith. All right. Take care, guys.